Good morning, class. Our topic today is basic functions of Adobe Photoshop. TL E Grade Eight Quarter One, Lesson One, Week Four, Content Standard. The learners demonstrate an understanding of graphic design tools. Performance Standard. The learners create videos with graphics design in a safe and responsible manner. Learning competency. Learning competency. The learners will utilize graphic design tools for graphic production. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to one discuss the importance of graphic design, two identify how graphic design has been applied in the real world, three get to know the principles and elements in graphic design, four learn the fundamentals of graphic design and desktop publishing. Short review: How do you think those pictures were created? What are the tools they use to enhance the design? Unlocking content area vocabulary. Adobe Photoshop is a powerful photo and image editing application. Part of the Adobe suite of productivity software, and considered by many to be a benchmark in the world of professional digital image solutions, resolution refers to the number of dots per inch (DPI) that appear in your image's final form. For print, these really may just be dots. On screen, however, these dots are referred to as pixels. Raster, also called bitmap graphics. Raster, also called bitmap graphics, are created from rows of different colored pixels that together form an image. Vector, also known as object-oriented graphics, are constructed using mathematical formulas describing shapes, colors, and placement. Rather than a grid of pixels, a vector graphic consists of shapes. Curves, lines, and text, which together make a picture. What is Adobe Photoshop? Download a free trial version of Photoshop on this link. Basic functions of Adobe Photoshop. A layers. Photoshop works with layers, allowing users to stack different elements of an image on top of each other. This non-destructive editing approach enables users to make changes to individual elements without affecting the rest of the image. B. Image adjustments. Photoshop offers a wide range of adjustment tools and commands for tweaking the colors, tones, and overall appearance of images. This includes adjustments such as brightness/contrast, levels, curves, hue/saturation, and more. C. Masking and compositing. Masks allow users to hide or reveal portions of an image selectively. This is particularly useful for combining multiple images or adjusting specific areas without affecting the rest of the image. D. Color management. Photoshop supports various color modes and color profiles, allowing users to work with different color spaces and ensure accurate color reproduction across different devices. E. Exporting and saving. Photoshop enables users to save their work in various file formats, including PSD, Photoshop Document, for retaining layers and editing capabilities, as well as formats like JPEG, PNG, TIFF, etc., for sharing and publishing. F. Integration with Adobe Creative Cloud. Photoshop seamlessly integrates with other Adobe Creative Cloud applications like Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Lightroom. Allowing users to work across different programs efficiently. Setting up a document. How to set up a new document with preset. One to set up a new document, click on the Create New button, and a new dialog box will appear. This allows you to choose what type of document you wanted to create, such as photo, printed, art and illustration, web, mobile, film, and video. Two, you can also go to File New at the top of the screen, or just simply click Control Plus N Win or CMD Plus N Mac. 
whichever way you choose, it will open a dialog where you can select the document size you want to use. 3. At the New Document dialog box, select Print Menu to show the different printable size document. 4. Choose the letter size and click Create. Placing and Transferring Images 1. There are many options in opening an existing file or images in Photoshop. The official way is 2. Click the Open button at the home screen, and it will show you the Windows Explorer, where you can locate the image you want to open. 3. Navigate to your image and select it. Placing and transferring images. 4. Click Open. Then it will proceed to the Photoshop interface. 5. The faster way in opening an image or design is by drag and drop from Windows Explorer location and dropping the image to the Photoshop home screen. 6. If the existing file is already listed at the home screen displayed, just select and click and it will open at the Photoshop interface. 2. Worked example. Practice navigating through Photoshop's interface. Open and close images, create new files, and save your work. 3. Lesson activity. Students will try to open their desired photo from their phone to Photoshop.